Now 10 days until South Korea's presidential election, the biggest potential game changer would still be a merger of the campaigns of the two main conservative candidates. A deal has so far been elusive. Yoon, Yoon Sung Yeol of the main opposition People Power Party still wants to talk, but his rival An Cho Su with the People's Party appears to be ruling that out. Lee Kyung Eun has the latest. Yoon Sung Yeol of the main opposition People Power Party held an emergency briefing on Sunday before hitting the campaign trail. Addressing the much discussed potential campaign merger with An Cho Su of the minor opposition People's Party. You said that the two sides negotiated all night and finally agreed on a draft of a merger deal. Yoon's camp even released a timeline without details, though. They were reportedly at the final stage of arranging a one-on-one -on -one between the two candidates, but the Yoon campaign was abruptly notified in the morning by An's team of a breakdown in the talks. Yoon says he's not given up yet. If Mr. An names a time and place, I'm willing to turn the car around on the campaign trail and visit him in person for an open discussion. I look forward to hearing from him. This would appear to contradict what An has been saying, that there have been no more discussions since he retracted his proposal for a merger last week, citing a lack of response from the Yoon campaign about his proposed method of deciding who should ultimately be on the ballot by holding a public opinion poll. Even prior to Yoon's announcement, An had ruled out any possibility of a face-to-face -face meeting. I'd already made a proposal about 10 days ago, and I was completely ignored. I got no answer. So I don't think it's right to keep making all these empty statements to the people. An's campaign released a statement admitting that negotiations did take place. But he said those talks broke down due to lack of trust, claiming that the PPP's disclosure of the talks proved that judgment was correct. On the liberal side, the ruling Democratic Party said Yoon's disclosure of the talks was an effort by the PPP to blame the failure of the merger on An's People's Party. The conservative merger, had it come, could have boosted the opposition's chances of winning against Lee Jae Myung of the liberal ruling Democratic Party. Young Arirang News.